Kim Kardashian. Kim Kardashian. Kim Kardashian. Kim Kardashian had a major bone to pick with every grown adult. Hello, coming at you live from my car. Welcome back to my channel. My name's Hunter. If it's your first time here, this video is really never something that I ever thought would be posted on my channel, and it's not something that I normally post on my channel. But today, we're going to be addressing my recent drama. I wouldn't really so much call it drama. My recent incident with none other than Miss Kim Kardashian. Kim, straight ahead, please. So, let me preface this by saying, when this first happened, I thought this was a huge deal, and then my friends and I were talking, and they were like, it's not really a big deal, like, calm down, like, chill out. And I'm like, alright, you know what, the hype is not that real, it's not a big deal. But then, when I started to get an influx of either positive messages, hate messages, and I'm like, okay, we need to address this, because some people are taking this way out of context. I want to go back to the beginning of where this all started. This all started when Kim Kardashian shared this post of her daughter North's painting that she painted. Beautiful painting. Love it. I definitely could not paint like that. This painting caused so much controversy in the media and online and Twitter. They just went crazy over it. Oh, it's on. Everyone was saying, oh, North didn't paint that. I'm going to need to see the receipts, blah, blah, blah. And I'm looking at this painting and I'm thinking to myself, I feel like I've seen this somewhere before. I don't know if like Kim had posted it before and she's just reposting it now or if North had painted another painting similar to this. Then it clicked to me and I thought Kim's friend posted this. So I went back on Kim's friend Tracy. I think her name's Tracy Romulus. I'll insert a picture of her Instagram here. And I found this picture and I'm like that picture is like almost identical to the one Kim Kardashian's daughter painted. In my brain I'm like formulating this tweet and I tweet out. Let me pull the exact tweet up so I don't misquote myself. I tweet Tweeted, and I'll put a picture here. Everyone talking about Northwest painting, but failing to remember Kim Kardashian's BFF's daughter painted almost the exact same picture. What is happening? I put this tweet out. I have like a thousand followers on Twitter. They didn't really think anything of it. I think it had like 20 favorites at the time, maybe a retweet, like one singular retweet. No big deal. Go about my day. If it's your first time here, I'm a flight attendant. So I literally was doing a Cancun turn. So I went to Cancun and back, left the hotel like 4.30 in the morning, got back to my hotel at around 1 p.m. ish, laying in bed, uneventful day, when I get a DM from a girl that I went to high school with, shout out you, Kenzie, cause you were the first person to DM this to me, and she goes, oh my god, you're famous. And I like look at the DM, I'm like, what is she talking about? I was trying to think, did I post something on my story? Or, like, what is she talking about? So I click on the DM, and I see that she sent me Kim Kardashian's Instagram story, the Kim Kardashian. There it is, lo and behold, Kim Kardashian screenshotted my tweet and shared it to her Instagram story. I froze. I was like shaking. I literally remember my hands were like this and I did not know what to do. I'm like, what do I do? It was just like so shocking in the moment, you know? Like I never wake up in the morning and think, oh yeah, Kim Kardashian's gonna see my tweet today and then share it, you know? I'm sitting there and I just don't even know what to do. I start FaceTiming my friends. I was a very mix of emotions of excited, scared, nervous. Like, did I just piss off the queen of the internet and like tabloid queen Kim Kardashian and I honestly love Kim Kardashian we'll get into that in a minute but I start freaking out because the Instagram story she shared before my tweet was not good. Let me pull it up. She said, Don't play with me when it comes to my children. My daughter and her best friend have been taking a serious oil painting class where their talents and creativity are being encouraged in nature. North worked incredibly hard on her painting, which took several weeks to complete as a proud mom. I wanted to share her work with everyone. I'm seeing some op-ed pieces in the media and social media from grown adults breaking down whether or not my child actually painted this. How dare you see children doing something awesome and then try to accuse them of not being awesome? Please stop embarrassing yourselves with this negativity and allow every child to be great. Northwest came to that period. Duh. I was freaking out because I thought that I pissed her off. Looking back, I regret this now, but the first thing I did was I went and deleted my tweet. I'm like, I'm not involved. I'm not here. Kim, I'm sorry. I did not mean any shade. I truly, truly thought that somehow she misinterpreted what I said on Twitter and thought that I was shading North or trying to say that North didn't paint the painting, which was actually the complete opposite of what I was saying. Now knowing what I know, Kim definitely knew what I meant by that tweet and she was using my tweet to defend her point. Thank you, Kim. We're on the same page here. Love you, girl. Anyways, Kim shares my tweet on her Instagram story and let me remind you, at the time of filming this, Kim Kardashian has over 200 
million, million followers on Instagram. So that is the opportunity for 204 million people to see my name, to see what I tweeted, to form their own opinions about one single tweet. They know nothing else about me. <sighs> so then the DMs started coming, baby. I got probably no less than like, I swear to God, like a thousand DMs. I literally had to turn my phone on do not disturb because it was like ding, 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 ding. I was like, oh my gosh, what's going on? So the first thing I wanted to do was go on my Instagram story and explain the whole situation that was happening and explain my side of the situation and I'm about to do that to you right now. A lot of people, for whatever reason, misinterpreted my tweet or didn't understand the context of my tweet. You saw my tweet. I literally was trying to say to everyone who was like, North didn't paint this, blah, blah, blah. Kim Kardashian's best friend's daughter, who is around the same age, painted this picture. So why do you think that if she can paint that, then North can't paint something like that? That was the whole premise of my tweet, saying obviously if she can do it, North can do it too. Me defending Kim and North, trying to back up that North actually did paint this. For whatever reason, people took this and like ran with it. Chris Jenner's gonna come after you. Chris Jenner's gonna sue you, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, I am literally defending them. What are you talking about? I had to take two steps back. We needed to calm the whole situation down. Let me explain. On the other side of things, so many people DM me and they were like, I don't know how people are misinterpreting the tweet. When she put my tweet on her Instagram story, she literally just put over mine. They are in the same art class. In my opinion, Kim was not shading me. I really think she was using my tweet to defend the whole situation because she did post some like negative tweet afterwards about someone saying like, oh, North didn't paint that and she blocked out their name in my brain the logic behind that to me is I posted a tweet defending her so she left my name because obviously it was nice but because Kim is a good person she blocked out the haters name so they didn't get any hate I don't think she wanted any hate for me and I think she totally understood what I meant so I just wanted to come on here and clear that up this whole story blew up to way bigger proportions than I ever thought it would this was in the mainstream media this was on E! News, TMZ Z, the Daily Mail, Page Six, you name it, it was on that website. Once this was picked up by mainstream media, DMs started coming in again, good and bad. I would say definitely this time it was more good. People understood what I meant by my tweet. Then my friend sent me a link this morning to an entertainment news show where they put my tweet on there. I'll insert the clip here. And Kim Kardashian had a major bone to pick with every grown adult who tried to come for Northwest artistic abilities and she's letting the haters know that nobody messes with their children. Kim also shared positive tweets from fans that served as receipts, like this reminder that North's best friend Ryan actually did paint the same exact portrait from the same exact art class. Wow, this really blew up. I never in a million years thought this tweet would be seen by anyone else besides my thousand followers, but somehow this tweet ended me up on Kim Kardashian's Instagram. Also, this ended up on The Shade Room, and if you don't know what The Shade room is it's kind of like a gossip website I want to say like a gossip account and at the time of posting this it has almost 350,000 likes that is my tweet on The Shade Room. The Shade Room has over 20 million on Instagram too, so that's another 20 million eyes on this tweet. Lord, like I said, I never thought that tweet was gonna go anywhere, but here we are. And my final things that I just wanna say here are, one, I love the Kardashians, love Kim. I think she's a total boss. What she's doing right now is insane. She's a full-time mom, she's in law school, she's a celebrity, she's an influencer. Do not know how she manages it all, but I have to give credit where credit is due. Whether you like her or not, she is is a boss and I just want to say for everyone who thought I was shading North no take a minute reread my tweet understand that I was literally defending them and let's move on that was a little story time about how I ended up on Kim Kardashian's Instagram story and how my tweet ended up being in the mainstream media never in my life did I think I'd have to worry about did I piss Kim Kardashian off why was my tweet featured on an entertainment news show today in the beginning of this whole situation I had a lot of anxiety about it but then I'm like you know what? I have to embrace this. This will probably never again happen to me at any point in my life. So whoever wants to put my tweet on their show, news article, whatever, that's fine. I don't care. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope this cleared some things up. I hope you guys understand that my tweet was definitely really, really nice and not supposed to be shady or rude. And thank you all for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.